Vishnu Dadia. Welcome back, friends. Jack Jack the Night Elf Druid, currently level 42. And we're in the Feathermoon stronghold. I think it's on Feathermoon Island. Oh no, it's on Sardor Isle. Just completed a quest down here with the Nagas, which we did very well at. I'm thinking of going across to the mainland to continue the questing. Just want to make sure my bags are relatively empty, which they are. I don't need silver shafted arrows. I just get rid of that. I might just wait for the boat. I think I could swim across, but there is a boat somewhere. It goes between these two points here. There's a Yeti quest over there. And there's some Gordani brute quests to do as well. Gordani warlocks, Gordani shamans and so on. The other thing that I'm aware of is there's probably another quest I could pick up as well. Called Screech of Spirits, which is in Tannis. I'm not quite sure what to do about that, whether to grab it now or I don't know. I could fly there, I suppose. Fly from here down to here. And then run over here. We'll get it at the later point, probably. Okay. Boats here. Might just try and grab a little tiny fish or two. Alrighty. Skill not high enough. Okay, well, that's that question answered. I've been neglecting my fishing skills and now paying the price as I can't fish in these areas. I could put a fishing attractor on, maybe that would work, but I think I'll save it. Lots of little quest items floating around in my bags. Look at my Senegal right? I haven't seen my Senegal for a while. Sister Clan Root, that's for the auction house. The Conch Hammer of the Whale. I actually got some loot that's higher than my level. It's quite extraordinary. I've got some patterns that I bought from the local market here. I saw that on the auction house. Got quite a lot of these healing potions as well. That can be sold to a vendor, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with friendship bracelets. Ancestral oil. I might just be into that. No one's buying it. Um, that will do for now. To learn Australia. I think that can be chucked out as well. So, pretty time to buff up. We've marked the wild. Thorns. And a spider sausage. Coming into the Forgotten Coast. There seems to be a quest just nearby the pier. So we'll mount up. We'll go look for the missing courier. He usually offers a quest, maybe he's for Horde only. Yeah. Quite funny actually. Now, where am I going? South. I know there's creatures along this beach. Level 48s, level 49s. Hmm, what to do about that? The missing courier. Maybe. Not sure if I'm risking certain death with these mobs here at 48 45 
still see. I just want to get down the coast intact, if I can. Maybe I'm better off swimming. Certainly not going to go near those giants. I'm going to try and stay away from those elementals as well. 49. Okay, it's looking very dicey going in the water. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to go into prowl, is what. And then I'm going to swim out to sea, I think. I need to play it a bit safe. I'm glad that the elementals don't associate the Xenogar with a druid and a prowl. That Senegal can hold its breath. Okay, a lot of elementals here. Have to go down the coast just a little bit further. So maybe I'll go out to sea a little bit and swim down the coast. Just want to avoid the elementals if I can. away, I think. I actually don't know really what we have to do for this quest. I'm assuming I find just a body or a bag or something and collect it. Okay. There's a giant down there. I think he's good to stay down there. There's another giant. I'm just gonna give the giants a wide, wide berth. I don't think they're gonna attack me, but it pays to be safe. I think I'm good now. Well, it wasn't my best idea, but got a little bit of experience for that. And now I can go back into my aquatic form. I can probably swim all the way back out to the island. received an item called a 
discarded knife. There it is. It's a quest item. I'm hoping this is a swimmable distance. I might get out there and it says fatigue or something. Oh look, I'm getting fatigue now. No, it's not. I'm just going to head back in. I just noticed I'm getting fatigued. You drown basically with fatigue just if you're new to the game. If you look at the shading here, it tells you. Okay, let's go back into the product form. Might have to head back to the yacht. Or perhaps I can just swim directly out, I'm not sure. Those giants make me a little bit uneasy. I'm not sure if they swim. Seems like I should be able to swim out there. That's better. Making a bit of progress now. So, boat wreckage complete. Mark of the Yeti. Should I be trying to kill level 46 Yetis? I don't know. But... 44 shamans and warlocks and brutes, etc. should be okay. It's 9.15 p.m. server time. Peaceful evening here on the side of the I'm going to turn down the ambient sound of the waves. It's a bit loud. Let's give that gnome warrior who's level 20, who must be a very, very good fisherman, to be level 20 out here. Couple of buffs. Okay. Let's go in here, show someone the knife. No. Take the knife to Quintus Jones Spy. Okay. I wonder what this quest is here. Oh, talk to someone in Ruteran Village. I can do that. Root Theran village. Pretty sure I can do that. Just not sure when I can do that. Some alchemy supplies on what he sells. Okay, I'll buy one of those. Master alchemy. up to the top. Quintus, the knife revealed.
speak to Jinro Hathkindle. Okay. Jinro Hathkindle. to the original quest giver. Jinro. Search the wood pawn null camps. Ah, okay. So, I can do that. Looks like we're going to be questing around there. Fair bit. Maybe it's time to get the Screecher Spirits quest. What to do, what to do. Not sure. Might just empty out some of my loot while I think about it. Everything else has expired. Yes, I decided at the last minute I will take the Screecher Spirits quest. It's a little bit of a hassle, but, you know, I just want to do it. So I'm going to pause the video while I fly, and I'll see you soon. Welcome back. We're now in Kajistan. Let's uh, mount up. And we'll go, just want to have a quick look in the compa compound here. There's nothing particularly... Mm, no. Okay, so what the plan is, we're going to head out to get Screecher Spirits. And come back and dump some stuff in the bank real quick. These mobs here, they're pretty manageable. I'm getting chased by him, but it's fine. There's the part, there's the quest I want. Screecher spirits. These mobs are all fairly straightforward, to, they're at my level. But I can't see any quests for them at my level, which is strange. Nonetheless, we'll get Screecher Spirits and we'll head back to Feralus. Noonshade Ruins. It's a very atmospheric part of the game here. I quite like it. The deserts, the palm trees coastline, pirate ships just out there, it's great, great imagery, there's lots of quests here, I'll be able to do these quests in a level or two, here's Screecher Spirits, now there we go, let's head back to Kajistan, I'll pick up all those quests later. Tanneris. It's a great name as well. Very evocative. The feeling of, I don't know, Egypt or something maybe, with the ruins. 
Lashmidu Troll Hunter. Great name, Lashmidu. Demolishing those bandits. Those hyenas have a massive aggro range. They just come straight at you when you're not even close. That one will come at me. Yeah, see. I'm just going to slip into the town on this side of the town and visit the bank. There's some stuff I can just pop in there for safekeeping. Bits and pieces. Little goblin bruises everywhere. It's going to ride straight in the door like a boss. Okay, so let's put, let's see, all this zesty meat can go, these can go, that can go, that can go, soothing turtle bisque, will I ever eat that? Might as well keep it. And here's a bank too. Okay. Let's run over here, back to the flight path, and we're going to go to the other Feralus flight path, I think. This one here, Fen Thalinar. See you when we get there. Welcome back, we're coming in to land in the other Feralus flight point, the one at the end of Thousand Needles. Thalonar, I think it's called. I'm going to rebuff. Still a bit nervous about questing in Feralus. It's a little bit high level, I feel, in points for me. But we'll see how we go. Buffing up. Might have spider sausage. Always makes me feel better. As it would. Who wouldn't feel better after eating a spider sausage? I ask you. Okay, let's mount up. Spotted Frost Saber. Maybe the coolest of the Frost Sabers, I like to think. And we need to find the path. I think it's over here a little bit more. These are the lower wilds. Another interesting name. I need to be careful. There's a horde camp in here. I don't want to run straight into it get smacked down by the guards. It's not good for your health. The Kaldorian. Level 43 hunter. I wonder what he's off to do. I'm not sure what's down there. Maybe he's just grinding. Or farming. Feralus is very, very green, as you can see. It's like an old forest. Very atmospheric. I love it. Massive trees, shrubs, temples, etc. I need to sort of come off the path a little bit here. There's a horde base just ahead there, I think. So we're going to go off here. Grim Totem Elder. Lots of creatures to chase me here. Hopefully I can jump this river. I wonder if I can make it. No. Right. Okay. The 
trick is to get back to the path, but not too soon, otherwise I'll be in the horde camp. Still there, go a bit further. A few dead bears, someone's been questing around here. A lot of dead bears. Ooh, sun grass. Where is that? So hard to see. There, there it is. I feel like sun grass would sell very well on the auction house. It's a new herb for me. And my high level herbalism skills. Okay, let's head back to the path now. Little sprite dart is everywhere. Who's that over there? Human mage, Ziggy Stardust. Great name. Funny name. It's a troll priest. Troll hunter. So I'm heading down to these wood poor null camps. They don't seem to be too high level. But I'm going to prowl down there. I'm heading towards the quest area. I'll probably have to kill a few wood pools when I get there. Shouldn't be too much drama with these guys. They're all about my level. Or a little bit less even. Woodpaw Hills, or Sun Grass. Where's the Sun Grass? Sort of here somewhere. I just take this guy out when he stops walking around. There we go. Some big hits. It's gonna rake on him. This guy will run as well, so I'm gonna put a rip on him as well. Oh, he just healed up. That's annoying. I should have guessed he would heal. Let's get another rake. Go for a big bite. Great. Now, where is that sun grass? Right there. Latency, a little lag. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe my computer started a weird little update of some kind. Now, strategy. Where am I going? Ah, there's the backpack there. What I'd like to do is pull that guy away, so I'm going to clear the area. Pull him over here, safely away, rake, claw, one more claw, let's put a rip on him, another rake, save up the energy and bite him, nice, now let's see if I can pull that mystic away. Run up here a little bit. There we go. And drop a heel. Go into cat form. Got the rake on him. Big claw. Another big claw. Gonna put the rip on him. He's gonna heal. Get a rake on him again. Now I think my damage is gonna be too high for him to recover. And he's running out of mana as well. There we go. 
That's pretty simple. And I might pull that guy over here now. He's 43. Should be fine. Get the rake on him. Fairy fire's already on him. Claw. Another claw. Get the rake back on him. Might go for one more combo, then put a rip straight on him. Or just a bite, actually. There we go. Let's pop out and heal. And I'd like to pull that mystic as well, I think. If I can just pull him around the corner a bit. A bit further away. Even. Here he comes. Now I'm going to run back and get him. Okay, so get the four to five combos on him. He's healing up. It's not going to be enough though. Damage is too high. And then we're going to bite him. Perfect. Pop out. Rejuvenate. And go get these little backpacks here. Writhing deep. Hmm. The writhing deep. 46. I'm not going in there. That's too much, I think. Alright. So, back into stealth. And we'll head back up to the path. We'll have to come back for that quest, I think, unfortunately. I feel like this area is a little bit better designed for Horde, for their questing. Maybe it gets better as you become higher level as an alliance. That was a close call. It's almost there. Might get back on my mount in a sec. There we go. Mount up. Go back to the path up here. So we'll do Screecher Spirits. And what else? Kill some ogres, I think. So just around here. I can hear my computer downloading something in the background. Not to worry. Let's start with the ogres here. We'll buff up. I quite like fighting ogres. Okay, let's go prowl. These guys are very close together, that's a bit annoying. If I can... There we go. Okay, not what I had in mind. Let's see if we can take two ogres in cat form. Okay, let's go to this guy now. Oh, there's a hunter. I'm popping out. I'm going to cast that. And I'm going to go back into bear form this time. That's a dwarf hunter. I'm in, in rage. 
sometimes I wouldn't mind it if the mobs would run away, to be honest. Just to give me a chance to heal up. Okay. We're going to heal up. Drop him to prowl. Just avoid the edge. I think he has a knockback spell. Something like that. Let's put the rip on him. There's a gold thorn there. Dropping lots of mage weave cloth. Not sure how it sells mage weave. I don't think Purple Lotus actually sells very well. That's a Warlock. We need them. Let's go behind him. He's going to cast one of his Shadow Bolts on me. He was pretty easy. Let's take out this Brute. Don't need more less is what we don't need. Okay, we're hit with a ferocious bite. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop out and heal up a small heal. Back into stealth. Prowl, I mean. And I'll open with a ravage. So funny, they just seem to know you're there. And spin around and spin around. Yet they don't know you're there. Let's get five combos. Apply a rip. And just grind him down. My health is going down rapidly. But I was just too strong. Shame I don't need these maulers. Okay, let's put a little rejuve. And we need some screeches as well. Screeches are around the corner, I think. Where's my little screecher wand? There it is. There's a screecher there. See if I can avoid the bears. Let's get a fairy fire on him. Oh, that was a big hit. Apply a rip. He silenced me. Now before I skin him, I need to pop out of stealth. I'm going to summon the Screecher Spirit. And then collect the Screecher Spirit. And apply Rejuvenate. And go looking for another Screecher Spirit. I'm going to prowl though. Feel 
or something's not right. Sungrass, sungrass. Should get those. Might take out which bear. hit on him then. I'll play rip and rake. Bear flank. And I'll go get this sun grass. There seems to be two sun grasses. Some grass there. I need to take out this bear though. Let's see if I can get a fairy fire. That's good. Reapply rake. Ooh, there's a screecher spirit. Well, not a spirit yet, but he will be. got a silence. I might go for a big bite. There we go. Out of shape shift. Apply the wand. Collect the spirit and then skin them. Thick leather sells pretty well. Now over here is the sun grass, somewhere just here, there it is, so hard to see. Okay, now back into Prowl, looking for a screecher. I need to be wary of these yetis, I can take him. Oops, should have been paying more attention there. That was a bit silly. Okay. This ape is doing big damage. Human. Oh, this Tarenton. I remember Tarenton. It's buff Tarenton. He's going to kill all my yetis, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh well. Plenty of yetis. 44, I can take him. Let's go around behind him. Let's apply very fast. This quest is saying level 46, maybe some of the Yetis are 46. Thick Yeti hides. Oh wow, it drops from skinning. That's great. This is somewhere where I could really exploit someone's lack of skinning by moving in and Good skin Tarenton skills. Oh, huge hit. Big opener. Let's go for a big bite. Thick Yeti hide. Thick leather. I wonder 
if I can get some Yeti hides off Tarrington's kills. I can. Thank you, Tarrington. Let's come right behind this guy. I might follow Tarrington into that cave. Sniping his hides that he doesn't lead. Oh, big bite on him. I'm going to reach you. Tarrington. Might need to pop up. Sky. Open with fairy fire, ravage, rake, claw, huge claw, might apply a rip just cause. Make some big numbers on this guy. Thick yeti hide number six. Number seven. Well, Skinning is a great bonus in this quest chain. I might run in after Tarrington in a sec. Further exploiting his hard work. Thank you again, Tarrington. Oh, bad opener there. Let's get the Tiger's Fury going. See if we can speed up the damage. Oh, there's a Screecher as well. I need that. Nice drop there. Might pull him over with a fairy fire if I can. Really should have healed up before this fight. Although, his health is going down rapidly. someone comes and kills me and go check on Tarrington's hard work not sure why we didn't group up but anyway he doesn't seem like he wants to need two more the robot homing chicken. Okay. <laughs> the apple, apple and the bandits, funny name for a guild. Thank you, Tarrington. Um, I feel brave enough to go into that cave. 
I'm going to go back out and wait for the respawn. I need one more hide. Done very well actually with the quest here. Quite rapid. Got my screeches. Got some ogres, but not enough. I think we'll hit the ogres in the next session. Okay, level 44. It's going to be a bit of a fight. Let's open with a ravage. Straight into a fairy fire. Doing very well. Big numbers on him. Gonna put a rip on him. Need to get the rake back on him as well. It's destroying my health, I might add. Gonna heal up. Medium heal. Go into stealth, come up behind this guy. Terrington gave me a nice little buff. Paladin buffs are they're great, but they only last five minutes. Gonna play a rip. Get the rake back on him. And he's done. Let's see if I can get one more hide. And we're done. Okay, so Yeti hides, it's just these, just these ogres, which I think I'll do in the next session. I think I might take a break for now. Let's find somewhere to perch out of the way. Maybe just up here. There we go. Nice and safe. All right. That's it for me for this session. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And as usual, your comments are very welcome. Bye for now.